Well, it was an interesting experience, um, as cancer always is. Um, one day I was fine. Um, literally, I had no idea that I had cancer. Next day I was doubled over and uh, excruciating stomach pains. And um, it went to the emergency room. And, and at first they thought it was one certain type of cancer. Uh, they found out it was a different kind of cancer, real rare form of leukemia that manifests itself in a tumor. And uh, then all the fun began. Um, that's when they, they um, immediately sent me to chemo up at LDS. You know, you never really know how you're going to react to that. You, it, it's, it's really just kind of disbelief that, you know, hey, this could this happen to me? The treatment that they gave me was um, strong and very aggressive, and I never left the hospital. I was there for three months straight. The team I had of, of uh, cancer specialists was um, superb. In fact, I'm still close with um, a couple of my CM at, at different concerts, like at the Red Butte concerts, and I mean, I just can't really uh, say much bad about the experience. I mean, they were very attentive and very good. I, I really had a, a great crew of, of uh, and the team up there. I mean, it makes you appreciate um, a lot of different things. It makes you reevaluate your whole life in a way. They say that and you just can't believe it until you really go through it. You just appreciate a lot more things. You don't take things for granted, but you also don't take things as serious. You know, when you're close to death, I mean, it just doesn't, you know, the things that used to bother you just don't bother you as much. So that's a good thing. The care and the medicines and the protocols that they have now are, <clears throat> are stellar. And um, that there's hope, you know, just don't lose hope. You know, just be positive. Um, I've told and I've talked to, I've had a lot of friends who've had cancer and people that I've met and I just say, the way I took it is just one day at a time, you know, I just would really just say, just get through today. And um, that's what you have to do. You just can't look at the bad, you, you can't look at the glass as half empty, it's just, it's half full and you, there's a lot to, to live for and it's not, um, it's not a death sentence. It isn't, you can survive it.